My name is Constable Chad Morrison with RCMP Traffic Services in Nova Scotia and I'm going to be talking today about uh, making the transition between a five-point harness car seat and a booster seat. And so the, the minimum requirements in order to do that are a child must be at least 40 pounds or 18 kilograms and they must also be mature enough to sit properly in the booster seat, uh, not undo the seat, not wriggle out of the seat belt. So in this case I have my son uh, Lincoln, who is almost four years old, he's almost 40 pounds. Uh, however, once he reaches that 40 pound uh, threshold, he's probably still not quite old enough or mature enough to sit in the seat. I know that he may fiddle with that seat belt. He may, uh, he can, he's a tendency to wriggle around a little bit. Uh, my daughter, on the other hand, is six years old. Uh, she's very mature. She's now in first grade, and I know that she can sit upright. Uh, and properly in that seat without um, undoing the seatbelt or moving around too much. So um, that's sort of the difference between the five-point harness and the booster seat. And of course, as police, um, it's my job to uh, check on these things when we do traffic stops, uh, make sure that kids are buckled up as safely as possible because as we know, uh, in collisions, um, they, uh, they are very good at preventing injury. And uh, we want to make sure the kids are as comfortable and as safe as possible in those situations.